Listen, I have something to tell you. What is it? It's big. It's really big. Go on. All right, so I was in Central earlier today getting a roll for lunch, and guess who strolls on in? Your dad. I don't fucking know who. <laughs> You're testy today, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, no, not my dad. It was Jimmy Doyle. Wait, Flatter Doyle's kid? The truck lord's young fella? Yeah, it's you know and the other. Anyways, listen, I saw an opportunity, right, to grab some cash out of his pocket. You fucking tick. Like, seriously? <laughs> Fuck off. I'm a genius, and you love me. A little black book. I can fucking tell that. Why do you have it? Why did you have to rob him? I seen an opportunity, I said. See, what happened was I slipped my hand into his pocket and it's not leather, so I grabbed it and then scarpered. Okay. So then when I stopped to grab the money and fuck it away, I seen it was actually a little notebook. What use is it? Fuck it away, man. Think, we can make some fucking cash. I blackmail them. You've lost your fucking mind. First thing, what's the notebook even worth? And secondly, he's all contacts and his dad's meetup spots and his plans and everything. Yeah, there's a couple of youngsters in earlier on. They were uh, talking about how they robbed your son's pockets. No, no, I, I'm minding my own business. I just, you know, don't want nothing bad to happen at this end. You want to blackmail Patrick Doyle? You can't do that. That's so no, fucking dumb. Listen, listen, we blackmail little Jimmy, not Patrick. Hey, why is he going around with all his dad's plans anyway? Not for any reason known to his daddy, I'll bet. Get rid of it. That's all I'm saying. Get rid of it. Yeah, it was um, Janet Lacey and Dan um, Ting. Uh, I gotta go. Um, yeah, uh, thank, thank, yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah. Come on, Dan, you're smarter than this. Janet, for fuck's sake. Finish that. Yeah.